is your beautiful love On this holiday, off my wish list Winter wonderland is full of fun Meatballs, oh yeah, on the holidays we making stuff. Meatballs, yeah, 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 dead the halls. What is up, y'all? What is up, y'all? Dead the halls and y'all. What is up, y'all? What is up, y'all? Making meatballs on Vlogmas. Woo, woo, yeah. So, anyways, what's up, y'all? Happy Scrappy Dappy Holiday Christmas Eve. I'm in this Christmas Eve spirit. We're on the cut. Last, I think last um, couple of months, I was in the holiday spirit. We're on the cut. I don't know if I'm going to get into the New Year spirit. We're on the cut. But anyways, y'all, I should be because I'm off work and I don't have to motherfucking work. Woo, 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 woo. My man's got to work Christmas night. But it's all day good, y'all. But what's up? We're going to try this here again. We're on the cut. I'm not filming you. It's okay. facial views. Oh, we gonna try beans? to, huh? Turn my beans down. To um. Why are you cooking the beans again? Cause we need, we still need a little bit of cooking. Turn, turn it down below. Sorry. Oh, hold on. Sorry guys, you're on hold. Yeah. Go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, y'all. Before we had a uh, what they call that a a a, a video bomb. That's what I'm gonna call them, like a photo bomb. <laughs> It's a blame in here messing with me. But yeah, y'all, so we're going to try to make these meatballs again. I made them years ago on my Straight Up Food Reviews channel. So you guys may see that up on there as well. But we're going to turn this into a vlogmas video right here. So anyways, let's get on with it. I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that I got. These right here are all the ingredients what I got right here for the Italian stuffed meatballs. As you guys can see, real raw and uncut. Um, I'm gonna put you got to put some sausage into it. You know what I'm saying got to put the ground beef and also Glam introduced me to this good mozzarella cheese. Oh my gosh This is one of these mozzarella cheese that are so good where it gets to stuck in the back of your throat where you think you're gonna choke and die and you got to go <laughs> Then I'm gonna use almond milk instead of regular milk because I haven't had regular milk in years So I don't want to mess up my scrumbellies and stuff like that and get my all squiggly intestines all messed up. Then we got the, let me see, I think this is parsley or something like that. I don't know what this is, basil or whatever. Italian parsley, yeah, right there. So originally you're supposed to use um, tomato, basil, garlic, but you know Walmart did me dirty, you know, um, they substituted, but that's still gonna be okay. As long as it has more of a bussing ba basil flavoring, I'm gonna be okay with that, y'all. Real, raw and uncut. Then you got to bring in the bread comes to hold it all together. Real, raw and uncut, as you guys can see. Then you need the pepper, the pepper. Then you need the eggs to put all together to make these Italian stuffed meatballs in the house, y'all. But we about to get down with it to show you guys. Y'all, you guys ready? All right, y'all, you guys ready, ready for the stuffed Italian meatballs from your boy, Big Bear the Bear, AKA Straight Up Food Reviews. As well as what they call me on the food side of the realm of all the food communities. Real Robin and Uncut. Make sure you guys um, also subscribe to the channel for more. Because like I said, the more y'all share these videos and give the thumbs up, the more people will come give me recommendations to see these videos and viewerships and all sorts of great goodies and stuff like that. And it keeps me motivated to keep bringing y'all this content real, raw, and uncut. And I hope everybody's been having a... Great, great, merry, merry Christmas, real raw and uncut, you know what I'm saying? Happy, happy New Year's, and like I said, uh, right here, you need about one pound of beef, but like I said, I'm going to make more meatballs, as you guys can see, so I got two pounds. I was needing, like, really four pounds, because normally, when I make these meatballs, I make, like, extra ones, a lot of extras to freeze, 
That way I can have some on standby and stuff. And um, you guys are gonna see how these things go. Like I said, you roll them up, roll them up, roll them up, real raw and uncut. So, um, where is my sausage at? I got to find this, oh, here it goes, right here in my face. And I got the sausage right here. Um, I want to use these sausages because they didn't have the um, sausage that is, you know, grinded up in the stores. I don't know what's going on. Ever since this pandemic and stuff going on, it's like a lot of stuff they don't really have in stock anymore or make. So it is what it is. So I'm going to try these right here. As you guys already know, let's break these. They got them all. It's like that film stuff they got on it right there so as a matter of fact i'm gonna take that yeah y'all see that right there i'm gonna take this off this is what you need to make the sausages look at that right there y'all see that i'm gonna go ahead and take that film stuff off right there as you guys can see two pounds of sausages as you guys know right here Loving the time to Spain each year Bunch together round with my family Yeah, why everybody singing Christmas songs Holding, sipping on that warm side yeah, yeah, yeah. Next to the fireplace Next to the lady Christmas tree Rooms full of smiles Everybody's full of chuckles Sipping on, sipping on hot cocoa Right up on Candy truffles, family picture, tiny eye, dressed with the Christmas sweater, feel the Thank you, wish for Christmas. comment subscribe to it bro i'm telling y'all y'all better quit leaving me hanging telling y'all telling y'all we're on uncut okay we're gonna get to the parmesan cheese in a minute we're gonna because we're gonna have to cut those up in square cubes so instead of me using two eggs i'm gonna use three because i got a lot more meat up in here so you want to put all that up in there yep all that all that smacky dacky craps of all kinds of great goodies and stuff in there then we have the parsley's right here, right here. So if I can get this off, we got the parsley's right here. So we're gonna take these, I'm gonna kind of break everything in there. Put all the little parsley's in here. Make sure you don't get the little stems in there, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, can't you see the mixture right there with everything into it? Then we got the Parmesan cheese you want to add up in there. So let's add the Parmesan cheese, real raw and uncut. Let's see, let's see. One fourth of a cup is what you add up in here. So let's add the Parmesan up in here. So put it all up in there like that. This gives it the extra cheesy taste to it right there. So now we got everything into it. And the last thing we're gonna cut up is these in cubes. So these are, these are gonna go into the middle of the meatballs as you guys already know. So are you guys ready? Here we go. Now we're gonna mix everything together. Make sure your hands is washed because ain't nobody want no dirty ass hands in their meatballs. So yeah, we're gonna mix everything in here. As you guys already can see. Gotta add the milk in there. That should be about it right there. No. That's not, that's, that should be about enough though. 
mozzarella cheese right there we getting ready to cut them up in squares yeah y'all this is the good one make sure you guys go get this like i said glam introduced me to these meatballs right here i mean not meatballs but the mozzarella i'm too excited right now I'm trying to get my head right with it so What you want to do is you want to grab a meatball like this size right here as you guys can see so and you want to roll it like this yeah y'all this is how big i usually make them these are going to be slow cooked instead of you know some people probably bake them but i think they're better slow cooked because the cheese don't pop out of them so fast so you want to make a meatball like that then you want to poke a hole in it like this make sure you get a nice deep hole into it like that roll it around crittle it around like that you want to grab a piece of your mozzarella then let's see let's add a little more right here then you want to put it in like that then you want to case it like this then you want to roll it around see that right there see that meatball y'all wait y'all wait till they get done they're gonna be looking very very cool very very cool like i said y'all so here we go roll it around like that yeah Poke it again after you get all your mixtures up with the flavorings of your meatball. Alright y'all, here we go. Here's the progress of the meatballs. Right there. Like I said, they look like I said they look like big pokey meatballs. They look very, very good. They um don't they look bigger than like last year's? Yes, way bigger. Yeah, look way, way bigger. Look at that. So we can't wait to see how they're gonna turn out. So I'm gonna put them in this crock pot right here. Not now though. So you guys hold on. That's gonna be the last part before we get to cooking. This is the crock pot, and we gotta slow cook them and stuff. And I still, I still got to, still got more ways to roll them. So like I said, I'm gonna show you guys one more time how we do them. You want to grab a ball like this. You can make them bigger, smaller. I think this is like the regular size. That's, that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to have more to save, like for like another occasion or something like that, maybe down the line after, because we're not going to eat all these. That's why I said I'm going to have to like freeze some of them because I got like too much, I got too much cheese still left. So I may have to go back and stuff some more cheese in these meatballs just to be on the safe side to make sure they got enough cheese going on with it. And, hey, y'all want to bite it like an apple? Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see some more. I'm telling you guys. Okay, y'all, here we go. The presentation, real, raw and uncut of the done, full of plate meatballs, ready to go into the slow cooker and cook them up. Look at that right there, succulent, ready to eat, ready to cut open and melt with the nice, nice mozzarella cheese into them. We about to get down with them. All right, y'all, here we go. We got the meatballs right here. Of course, I took some off the plate because I'm going to save some for another time. So we're going to um, open up the sauce right here. I got four of these things, so I don't know. I got to make sure I don't need all of them. I think I'm going to need one more. We're going to see as we put it in here. I think I am going to need the other one. 
So let me go over here and go get the other one over here. So, right here. This is the meat sauce one. Like I said, uh, it's best to use basil, but it's all good though. So we're gonna add all that in there. Nice and hearty meatballs in with the sauce. So we're gonna put them in there nice. Dunk them in there nice and slow. Right here. I wonder if they got like bigger like crock pots in this. So we're gonna put them all up in there. You wanna make sure you get all the meatballs dunked in there. That way when the heat, the heat can get to them and cook them all around. Stuff like that. Last year we overcrowded them, so we don't wanna do it this year. And put them in there like that. Make sure he get up in there snuggled and nice. Okay, and there you have it. Then we're gonna put these, the top over here, in the crock pot. Right here, right there. And there you have it. And then y'all, we're gonna show you guys the after when these meatballs is done. And hopefully they turn out good. So yeah, y'all, so I got the meatballs cooking. I didn't think cooking is exhausting. <laughs> I mean, for real. And y'all want me to bring back these cooking videos? <sighs> if I do that, y'all, y'all gonna have to, y'all gonna have to help a bro out. Share that channel around. Thumbs up. Support that shit. <laughs> Cause them food reviews is tough, man. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the meatballs of uh, what they look like. Hopefully, they turned out really, really good and stuff. Um, I haven't had them for like I think two years. Cause I don't think I made them. I think I made them last year. But it's a good thing I have like 10, 10, 10 extra ones that I kept and threw them in the freezer. That way, uh, when I want some down the line, I could just add some um, uh, spaghetti sauce with no some tomato basil sauce and stuff to it and all that and uh, like I said y'all we getting ready for the holidays I'm about to go back out to this damn Walmart these other ones see if I can find this Halloween kills that way I, I can go ahead and get it and I don't have to go out Tuesdays and that'll be my like last thing I have to buy for the rest of the damn year so so anyways y'all I'm gonna show you guys another way how to cook these meatballs um, if you want to cook them a little bit faster, you can also sear them up in, you know, on a pan on the stove and then transfer them over to an air fryer and then put them inside your crock pot and then have the sauce and then cook them the rest of the way. So we're going to see, um, as you guys can see, they look you know, seared and, and crispy on the outside. So let's cut it open and see what they look like on the inside. And apparently they look like they pretty much look like they're going to be tasting all good and stuff. So let's see. We got the cheese right there. Oh man, that looks good. See right there? That's the cheese right there that I, that I put in the middle of them right here. So let's cut this one open. Let's, let's do this one. Let's do this one. See that? Wow, that look good, don't it? So yeah. So like, like I said, you could eat them like this or you could put the sauce on them and stuff. And let's, let me try it. This is my first time trying it without the sauce, but we did it a different way. This time, that way, next year, we can uh, use this um, cooking style. And it's actually a lot more crispier and stuff. So, um, Glam, she brought that idea. And we're going to see. Look at that. It's hot. Man, this looks nice. Let's see. Pretty good. Hmm. Flavorable. Mm. Good, you want to try? It tastes real, real tiny too. Hey, yeah, I want to try food. But yeah, it's real good. No, my chunky butt wants some. Wow. They're really, really good. They mm -hmm. actually taste. They, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. You kept bugging me about. Mm -hmm. And you should see them. Maybe it's the best way to do them. <laughs> that was my idea, y'all, to know, sear right? them and then put them in the sauce. I'm good. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have them go mix them now. Like I said, put the sauce on them. Mmm. And they're flavorful too. And that cheese. 
man. They gonna let me start doing, uh, open up a cooking business. Come on, y'all. But we're gonna come back and show you guys what the other ones look like too when they done. What's up, y'all? It's finally here. We're gonna try these meatballs. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna put one on the plate. Cause I know a lot of y'all been waiting for them to see how they turn out. We're gonna start with this one big meatball right there. Yeah, y'all, that looks yummy. Now let's see how they turn out this year by cutting it open and see what we got going on up in this one right here. As you guys can see. So meatball and sausage. Make sure you put your sausage up into it, because that's what's you know has to be up in these meatballs as well. So here we go. They go to cheese. Yeah. Okay. Look good, don't it? Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's try it, y'all. That's pretty good. It's hot, ain't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you guys seen that we tried them, sauteed them already. And this is uh, baked right here in the um, crock pot. Yeah, really good. Turned out really, really good. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I should have added more cheese. But the cheese is already, you know, they do have more cheese inside the meatball. So, well, outside the meatball and eating the meatball. And you got the cheese filling that I put up in there. Overall, y'all. They turned out really, really good, though. So I put the um, ingredients down at the um, video description so you guys want to make them. Also, follow the video of me mixing everything together. And there you go. Um, you want to um, cook them in the um, crock pot for about, what, three hours? I think about three hours. We're going to start like one. It's been about five hours. About five, it's been about five hours. <clears throat> and then, hey, enjoy them. Love y'all out there. Rate, comment, subscribe. Very my family, yeah. Why everybody singing Christmas songs? Holding, sipping on that warm side. Next to the fireplace, next to the lady Christmas tree. Rooms full of smiles. Everybody's full of chuckles. Sipping on, sipping on hot cocoa. Right along with the candy truffles. Family picture, tiny eye. Dressed with the Christmas sweater, feel the Thank you, wish for